Hi folks, it's Farmer Brad here, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to daisy chain the automatic chicken water bucket. Now, it will be a little tricky to me trying to do this uh, one-handed, um, but let's see. So my current setup is I have a chicken water there, and I have a chicken water there. So I have two ends here. Now, if you purchase two of the 2008 model uh, or newer, then I include one of these splitters. Now, I purchased this from Amazon, and it's just a shut off for quick connects. So that's partly why I like how easy it is to adapt this system. Uh, let me double check to see if there's any viewers. So far there aren't, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, cut a small piece. Uh, let's see, let's see if this works. So. Okay, so you should be able to see that. So what I'm gonna do is I have this extra piece of a fourth inch reverse osmosis hose right here. So what I can do is to get this adapter off, you just sort of push that collar down and then it easily comes off. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and slide that onto here, like so. Then on here, I'll take this removable clip. So the clip is basically just to guarantee that it won't slide off. Um, it's not necessary, um, but that works there. So then I can go ahead and take the one to my first chicken water, put it here, and just slide that in. Good to go. Now for this other water, what I want to do is I want to have a little shut off. Uh, in case I need to move that while this one's still on. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and unscrew this. And I'll slide this cap off. And I'll just slide that on there, just like that. And I'm gonna keep it pretty close to where that split is. So I'm just gonna cut another piece. And you'll want it pretty flush. So then this piece will go here. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or leave a comment and I will either reply to it after the live stream or I can just verbally respond to it. So that goes there and then I slide that on there. And it's good to go. So I just hook it back up. sure it's snug down and I turn it on so that one's getting water and then this one 
all I have to do is turn that and now that one is getting water. So I hope that that was helpful just to explain how easy it is to daisy chain these chicken waters. If you'd like to purchase one, you can go to farmerbrad.com forward slash bucket auto, A-U-T-O, and that will take you directly to it. Uh, let me see who's on the live stream. Uh, so far, there's two people. Um, if you'd uh, give a shout out in the chat, then I could tell who you are that's on the live stream but uh might as well just show you the uh new chicken coop setup so this is the chicken coop that people can rent right here it's five feet by eight feet and it is very heavy duty this is where you have access oh hi jessica thanks for the review i just uh saw that on facebook and I'm glad that your chickens are enjoying their chicken waters. Um, so I don't know if you ended up uh, daisy chaining them, Jessica, um, but I was just showing others how easy it is to do it with the quick connects. And, what's, and then this is where the nest boxes are. Um, I don't have any in here right now because they're uh, not laying yet and then over here I have some bantam chickens I got eight of them and they're in this little little coop here just chilling out um, and then here I have six layers a few Rhode Island Reds a barred rock an Australop, and then Let's see I'm not here. And then there's the nest boxes. And then I end up putting uh, uh I forget how you pronounce it, uh Diamatris Earth or whatever, uh there to try for a dust bath, see how that might go. And this one might Feeling soon so I'll just leave it alone but I ended up picking up this pretty large commercial uh, commercially available chicken coop for 175 off of uh, Facebook marketplace so I consider that a pretty pretty good deal um, so you can access inside the coop there with that door. And then here's where the nest boxes are. You can slide this to peek in there to see if there's any eggs. And then you can just uh, open that up there. And then here's where you can uh, peek in on the, the last one. Some of the hens needed a break from the roosters, so that's why they're missing some feathers on the back. So if anyone has any other questions, just let me know. Oh, and over here I have a uh, hardwire cloth uh, at the bottom. And the idea with that is that the grass should be able to keep on growing up. And then they'll just eat the top of the grass. Um, eventually, all this grass over here will be gone in here. It's uh, just a matter of time. Because over here, they've uh, decimated this. So every now and then I try to throw in some grass clippings for them but uh, 
you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them. But uh, I'm glad that the automatic chicken water is working great for you, Jessica, and thanks for supporting small business. So make sure to tell all of your friends that have chickens that they should purchase an automatic chicken water bucket. And if you search on YouTube, uh, you can find some of the videos that I've partnered with the YouTubers to be able to have uh, a, a um, promo code. I think uh, most of them, uh, you may be able to save $3 with a promo code. So. Just search around on YouTube and you'll probably be able to find one of the videos that I've sent them a chicken water. So until next time, uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. A uh, shortcut to that is farmerbrad.com forward slash YouTube. Uh, and then you can sign up as a subscriber and uh, keep up to date with all the happenings on the farm. Uh, so take care and have a wonderful day.